everyone, welcome back to my channel. Drew here from Lone Fox, and this week has been a little hectic at my house. So as you guys saw last week, I actually set up my antique booth. So we were moving so much furniture in and out and packing up decor. My bedroom's currently having major, major repair work done, which is costing me so much money, I just found out today, which is lovely. I thought today, instead of working in the house, we're gonna get out. I'm going to head over to Ikea, and I wanna share with you guys things that I absolutely love, that I think are worth the money, that have a great aesthetic to them, that have a great quality, quality, design, overall are pieces that I think are the best from Ikea. I was gonna do like a what's new for spring at Ikea, but what if I just shared my absolute favorite pieces across the board from Ikea? Things that I would repurchase for designs I think are totally worth it and are more design forward. I wanted this video to kind of be like a designer steps into Ikea and these are the pieces that they gravitate towards. Now I don't claim to be a designer, professional designer, but I do have some design content on my channel. So I mean, you can look at it if you'd like. But we are heading to Ikea. I'm actually kind of excited to get out that house today and we are gonna look at some furniture and I'm gonna share with you guys all of my favorites. So let's head out the door. Diving into our first category, which is furniture, as I ended up being in the showroom of Ikea to start with. So I went through and actually something that I really noticed that I've always loved from Ikea are their rattan and wicker made pieces, specifically the chairs that are made from rattan and wicker. I thought this shape here was such a great, great shape, especially the paper wrapped seat, which looks like a woven almost leather material. I think it looks really nice and substantial, especially how tight the weaving is. You could see it replicated on this darker brown chair here when I go and close. It almost has this elevated, just high-end woven feel to it. And this one's a newer silhouette, I think for springtime, but I love the flared arms on this, the white powder coated base. I think that's a great one. And this slip covered sofa here, I also love. I think slip covers are super in at the moment. So if you are looking for a budget friendly option, this option here is great. And it's one that you could actually remove the slip cover and wash it every now and then if you need to. Staying in the realm of sofas, I think if you want something a little bit more modern and also even more on the masculine side, this clip-on sofa, in the leather is a really great just structural kind of sofa with chrome legs. I think it has a chic kind of sophisticated feel to it and it does come in other fabrics as well, including this funkier black and white kind of monochromatic pattern, which I think could totally be fun styled in the right setting. I'm a big fan of blocky silhouettes. So this modular sofa called the Jadabo, I believe that's how you pronounce it, is also great. I love how it comes in a bunch of different corduroy options and it has a really soft finish on it, but you can also get it in a leather if that's what you're going for. This new cabinet here is actually two components. So it's like a shelving system on top and then it's more of a media base unit on the bottom. But the veneer finish on this is their new oak veneer, which I believe they've had outside of the US, but now is in the US. And I freaking love the color of it. It is so great. This little orange chair here as well was sitting next to it. And I thought this was more fun and playful, maybe for like a kid's room and then styled over in that same little area. I know this isn't a furniture piece, but I wanted to pop it in because how cute is this little rattan style wicker frame? I've never seen these before, but I would totally use these in a gallery wall setting. A common theme you'll probably notice is my attraction to the wood veneer pieces at Ikea. I love this little side table set. I think the shape, kind of that teardrop silhouette on top and how they're nesting is really nice. And this piece here, I could see myself using in so many different ways. I feel like this completely gives like postmodern elevated vibes, but the price point on this is just really incredible. You can layer these side by side to create a longer console shape. And this is one of my absolute favorite coffee tables by Ikea. I think the long oval is an interesting silhouette. It's different than your long traditional kind of rectangle shaped coffee table. And you also have that woven shelf in the center, which just adds some nice texture. Anything from Ikea's Lister Bee collection, I also really like probably butchering that, but every piece is just a really beautiful finish. They have rounded corners and these dowel-like legs, which I think add to the kind of silhouette of the piece and make it a bit more interesting. And here's another new bookcase that I came across. I just feel like these feel so much more elevated than the traditional white melamine bookcases. I think this is the kind of piece that could stand alone, but it's also a great base if you're doing some sort of built-in look situation or you just need more storage throughout your home. And for $200, I love the chunky base at the bottom. Now this piece is from their Lomarp collection. Again, butchering that I'm sure, but I love every piece from this collection. I think they're really cute. They have a lot more charm to them than your traditional Ikea piece. And here is that previous kind of shelving unit that I shared with you guys, but just the bottom half of it. How stunning is the wood grain on this? It's like an oak veneer stained to perfection, this medium toned brown. I love this. I'm absolutely going to be using this along with this sideboard here. Very Scandinavian, simple, kind of feels mid-century Danish as well. 
but for the price point, it's definitely a fraction of any sort of vintage or Scandinavian teak style sideboard. It also does come in this kind of bar silhouette. I feel like this would be such a great bar cabinet if you did have space for that in your home. It has these pop open doors, which I do feel like kind of lend to that bar feel. And I always gravitate towards warm wood tones, but if you are more of the lighter or bleached wood tones, I think this sideboard or little credenza piece is also beautiful. I love the simple knobs, but those are an easy swap. And here's another piece from that Lomarp collection. I mean, how much character does this little cabinet have, especially with those kind of inset door fronts? They have these really cute little pull tab hangers as well, gold knobs on the front, and the inside actually has beadboard on all of the pieces. It just adds to the cottagey feel of these pieces. Now, next up we have dining tables, and I love this one, especially for a smaller space because the T base on the bottom allows chairs to just kind of slide around easily. You don't get caught up on the edge or corner. It just creates a more breathable, airy space. However, this dining table is my absolute favorite from Ikea, and it comes in many different sizes and shapes. It also comes in a circle. The thing I love is the jointery work just at the corners and the color, the veneer finish on it, just all the different graining across the piece. It also has a bench that matches, and you can see the little jointery details on there, or joinery. I think that's actually how you pronounce it. Now, the circle one actually has an X base at the bottom, but how beautiful is that? It looks like solid, substantial wood. For the price point, these are my favorite dining options. This little stool here was just popped around the corner, and I thought it was a perfect, like, simple little stool to tuck under a console or just to have, like, out in a room. For dining chairs at Ikea, honestly, I do not like many of the dining chairs. This silhouette's all right, but if I had to select two, I'd probably just go with this traditional Windsor chair on the left or the one on the right of that that kind of has an open back that has a curved silhouette leg at the bottom. They're just not really too designed forward on their dining chairs. And this led us into the kitchen area, which the kitchen cabinetry, I actually do feel like in the veneer is really beautiful, especially this herringbone veneer. When I got up close to this, look how grainy and linear the grain is on the wood. I feel like this used properly with maybe some new handles or done in a specific way would be really great. And here's another dining chair silhouette that I thought was kind of cute for an apartment space, especially if you like more of that postmodern style or even introducing a bit of color. These shaker style cabinets with the wood also I loved so much. I can see these looking beautiful in a kitchen. I probably would swap the hardware for like some unlacquered brass hardware. I feel like you need to go high-low in this situation and go with an Ikea cabinet and then use maybe a more expensive knob to make it overall feel a bit more elevated. But if you do need some kitchen storage, I thought this stainless steel little island block was super cute with the storage on the bottom and the butcher block on top, which is convenient. This desk here I loved as well. I don't know if you could tell, but on the left side, there's actually a light box, which is super cool. So if you do tracing or sketching, and it is a great silhouette and color of wood. And honestly, desk chairs by any brand are a challenge, but these leather ones from Ikea, I feel like they're streamlined. They're simple. It comes in this brown cognac color, but it also comes in black if that's kind of the way that you want to go with your office space. I always love some pretty and functional pieces. So this wicker bench here is perfect as a bench, of course, at the end of a bed, but it also opens up to reveal storage on the inside, which is great. So you could store additional blankets or towels or whatever you'd like in there. And I also feel like everyone knows Ikea for their little shoe cabinet that you could put in an apartment space, but they just released this wood version, which is a total elevated version of the one previous. I feel like this could be lining an entire wall of a smaller bedroom for additional storage if you wanted that. And it also comes in a smaller square shape like this. It's a perfect entry console when you need something shallow, uh, but you don't also have a lot of space to work with. Working our way into kitchen and dining, I do love these faucets from Ikea. There is a brass option, and then also the silver one's really cute as well, but the brass one has kind of an enameled handle, which I feel like adds a bit of a vintage charm to the piece, which is really nice. And then this cutting board here, Ikea has a bunch of different cutting boards, but this one here, I feel like it's great. It's a universal one. You can lean it up or you can use it as it's intended. And then this pot and pan set, I thought was such a beautiful color, and the blue shade would be beautiful to display on the countertops or tuck away. And something I did didn't realize Ikea actually had were copper pots, but how stunning are these copper pots? I love the mix of silver with copper whenever I see that combo. Always a favorite. I think it was last summer that they came out with these little cake dishes that have the scallop edge on the bottom. They're a recycled glass, and they have this really cute kind of floral motif pressed on the inside. I absolutely love this little three-tiered serving tray. I think the color is beautiful, and I just did not expect Ikea to have something like this. And if you're in the market for dinnerware, they actually have great simple dinnerware sets, perfect for layering with like some other specialty pieces if you have them and they come in a box set. I love that vanilla color. I also love this chocolate color and they have a bunch of different rattan and wicker coasters that you can also use to set the table. These are a few of my favorites. 
Now, when it comes to soft goods and Ikea, I do feel like these are totally hit or miss. There are so many patterns that Ikea comes out with that I genuinely wondered to myself if anyone's ever purchased in their life. But this one here was kind of cute. It reminded me of a William Morris pattern, and it actually comes in pillowcases as well, which I feel like would be great just to introduce to your bedding for spring or summer. And they do have some nice throw pillows. These ones here are kind of like a linen-y material, and they're in the size of a Euro sham. So if you do need some Euro pillows, a great option. And anything from the Sanella range, at Ikea I think is great. It's like a velvety mohair, faux mohair material and comes in a bunch of moody colors. Now for curtain panels, I love this plaid option, which comes in this neutral colorway, but it also comes in this green colorway, which could be fun for like a boy's room or a cabin. Now they also have some linen-like material curtains. These are similar to those uh, Euro pillows I showed. And then this here is actually that Sanella pillow, but in a curtain fabric. Also for throws, they just had a few newer ones that I thought were cute, but I don't find myself buying too many soft goods from Ikea. Rugs are another area where I feel like if you get a patterned rug from Ikea, everyone's going to know it's from Ikea, so stick to the traditional jute rugs. These are super simple and easy. They're also extremely affordable. You can layer them. You can also get a new one every now and then if yours kind of gets dirty over time. And I thought this runner here was actually really cute. It was the only rug I saw other than the jute rugs that I would opt for. One of the last sections that we made our way to was storage, and I love these seagrass baskets. I have seen these at World Market before, but I actually think they're more affordable at Ikea, and so I always grab these for storage. Now, these little kind of enameled tins were also great if you have areas for those, and if you have an office space or open shelving, these little rattan magazine holders are great for kind of organizing files or papers, and of course, we can't forget about the wood hangers. They're definitely an Ikea staple, and how cute is this rattan dog bed? Lighting is another area that I do have kind of a problem with at Ikea. It is hard for me to find lights that I want to use, so I would highly suggest to save a little money, use some of the other pieces I shared in this video, and splurge on a light from a designer or from a brand that you love, because all the Ikea lights, again, their silhouettes and shapes I feel like I've seen so many times. Now, I totally would opt for some of their frame options, like those gold ones or the wood ones. They also do have a few nice mirrors every now and then. I thought this one here would be cute in an entryway since it has that small shelf at the bottom for keys. And here's another little cat house or dog home. How cute is the silhouette of this with the arch? It would be perfect for Winston if he wasn't bigger than it already. And just a few little decor elements. Those are also kind of hit or miss. I do love this vase here. It's one that I'm constantly repurchasing. And that, my friends, was today's video. I hope that you enjoyed this one, and I hope it gave you guys a little look and an insight into kind of the sections I gravitate towards at Ikea, and also some of the finishes and looks of furniture that I go for. But I feel like there was a common occurrence throughout this video. Anything that has a wood veneer on it, I'm kind of a little bit more gravitating towards because a wood veneer, at least it gives you the look of real wood. The center is a pressed plywood traditionally, but that's why the cost is more affordable. So anything with a wood finish, I really love from Ikea. And I mean, we did see a couple of new products for the springtime and there are definitely some new pieces that I am absolutely going to be incorporating in some designs soon. I really want to start doing some more renter friendly on the channel, friend spaces as well, so I can see myself using some of those pieces. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, it's somewhere around the screen, and you can also follow me over on Instagram at Lone Fox Home, which is just right here, where I post brand new home decor and DIY content every single week. And I will catch you all in my next one. Bye!